Welcome back to the trail to Mushy the Cowboy Cook. St. Patty's Day is in just a couple of days. So today we're going to make corned beef and cabbage over the fire. So let's get into it. Alright, for this corned beef and cabbage, I've got two pounds of a brisket. It's the flat cut. So it's not real thick, easier to, to cook. Small head of cabbage, I will cut into small wedges. Got some beef broth. Um, I'm going to use probably three quarters of a pound of small carrots. And then probably about a pound of red potatoes. Um, these are large enough to where I'll cut them into several pieces so that they uh, cook a little quicker. Now this weighs about two pounds so I'm going to put it in a pan over the fire, a roasting pan, and I'm not going to put the spice packet in it. I'm going to get the water, uh, cover it with water and get it boiling and then I'll let it simmer for about 80 to 90 minutes. You want to cook it for about 40 minutes a pound and like I said it's right at just a hair over two pounds. So I'll get this open up and get it cooking and then once it's cooked we'll start adding the slowly adding the vegetables. Whoop! Need a light now I can see. So we'll come back after we get it cooking and then um, I'll show you as I put the vegetables in and, and uh, Try and finish it out. Alright, one thing you want to do is to skim the scum off. So do that and um, as it's cooking and just keep cooking along. Well, it's been about 90 minutes. And now I'm going to cut up the, some potatoes. Now that one I'll just cut in half. These bigger ones I'll cut into quarters. I'll leave the jackets on. AKA the peelings. So I'll cook these for about twenty minutes come back throw the carrots in as well as the uh, cabbage and then cook it for another 20 to 30 minutes and put a little salt and pepper in it and that should do it Alright, I let this rest for about 10 minutes. I end up cooking it total about 3 hours. See a lot of people cut it real thin. I will admit I did try it a little piece it's quite tasty I've never had a corned beef before to be honest with you in fact I had a uh, 
customer the other week asked me was I going to do anything for St. Patty's Day and so my last video I did the Irish sausage, sausage roll that turned out really good try a little bit of the meat very nice now the only seasoning I put in here was the pack of uh, spices that came with the corned beef and then I did put some pepper in it get a little little bite of everything potato carrot cabbage and meat yes very good I like that combination um, I've seen recipes of just basically the uh, corned beef and cabbage so here's just corned beef and cabbage mmm Just that alone is good we were uh cooking eye and bossy did a show it's been probably i'm gonna say six seven years ago maybe even eight it's been a while and we were um bossy went went home early and um she had bought some potatoes and just had them in a basket more for decoration than anything and uh, we had decided on Sunday for lunch we would do cabbage and um, and sausage you know the kielbasa type sausage so we started doing that you know fixing that and then Cookie saw the uh, potatoes and he was like why don't we put the potatoes in there I'm like sure why not and that was good so experiment try things like I said I've never tried the corned beef before I like it I've never even had the uh, the canned corned beef but um, I do want to try that with some cabbage um, fry it all together and I'll uh, do that sometime down the trail but but in the meantime this is good for uh, St. Patty's Day. So once again, the luck of the Irish was on my side on a new dish that I've never tried before. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video on the corned beef and cabbage with carrots and potatoes. Turned out good. Um, like I said, I'd never had it before. So, I'm always willing to try things that I've never had before. Um, and like I said, that was a request from one of my customers who's a subscriber. And typically when I come into her office, she'll usually ask me about the channel or what's coming up, new dishes I'm, uh, you know, videos, what, you know, what dishes I'm cooking in the next video or, or things like that. So I didn't mind doing it. And actually that was a nice reminder to um, have me do some dishes for St. Patty's Day. I'm trying to do dishes for all the holidays we celebrate here in the U.S., and um, and I will be getting into some 
um, international foods and dishes from around the world as, as we get down the trail. Still have a lot to do, lots of recipes um, coming up. I've got stacks of, of lists of things that I want to cook. And um, that's why, I, for one, I've been putting in like two recipes in one video just so I can try several different things. Looking forward to a busy weekend cooking for the Cowboys. We always have a good time with them. And if you're close by to Lake Waccamaw, North Carolina, which is southeast part of North Carolina, please come out. $10 to get in, free parking. A lot to do out there. A lot to see. Remember my Amazon link, affiliate link in, in the description. If you go through it, it will help me financially without costing you a dime anything you purchase. Once you get to the site, coming through my channel, you can purchase anything. And it helps me out. And I appreciate it. Also, any uh, uh, next weekend, we're going to be at the Lee County Fairgrounds in Sanford, North Carolina. I know other shows are coming up, and as I know the dates and where they're at and any other information, I will let you know and then always be putting it in the description down below. With that said, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you've been watching some of the uh, videos and you haven't subscribed, it's time to hit that button and subscribe. Share with friends. Also like it and of course ring the bell and mushy the cowboy cook we'll see you down the trail